Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Roberts and I'm a student at MIT studying mechanical engineering. I've been working at the MIT Age Lab as a research assistant for about three years. And since I've been here, I've been able to work on projects related to both simulator and on-road vehicle studies. The most recent study that I worked on was City Browser. The City Browser project was the focus of my senior thesis, and it also allowed uh, the Age Lab to partner with both BMW and the U.S. Department of Transportation. And in particular, the City Browser system was developed by MIT's Computer Science Artificial and Intelligence Laboratory, or CSAIL, by Jim Glass and Alex Grunstein. Now, naturalistic voice recognition systems are becoming ever more popular, and the purpose of the CD Browser project was to explore such systems in a user environment. So, City Browser is an in-vehicle navigation system that allows the user to search for restaurants, hotels, museums, subway stations, as well as addresses on the map. And once the user finds the establishment that, that they're looking for, they can also find directions. And the user interacts with the City Browser system via a dedicated speech button, the in-vehicle display, the iDrive, as well as the sound system. And the in-vehicle display is controlled using two computers that are located in the trunk. These two computers are also connected to the internet, which allows a direct feed from Google so the user can find up-to-date information about which establishment they're looking for. Welcome. You can ask about restaurants, museums, subway stations, and hotels in 183 cities in the Boston area. Show me Chinese restaurants. There are 10 Chinese restaurants near this location. I also have information about Price Range. The particular neighborhoods are Central Square, Back Bay, Beacon Hill, and Kendall Square. With the City of Browser study, we had 72 subjects split into six different age groups according to their age and gender. And what did we find from the study? We found that there was no difference in age in terms of task completion. The only difference with respect to age was the fact that older adults had a different perception of the system quality. In terms of gender, we found that males required fewer utterances per task than females. And in terms of educating subjects about the city register system, we found that the training exercise during the demo greatly helped subjects when they were actually using the city register system. Without this training demo, most subjects would not have been able to actually use the city register system. In-vehicle navigation systems, such as City Browser, can have an even greater benefit for transportation in the future. Now, interestingly enough, we found that there was no difference in age when it came to task completion. Now, this can mean that maybe aging isn't a problem when it comes to interacting with in-vehicle navigation systems. In addition, City Browser can have an even greater benefit for users. Since the main mode of interaction with the system is via auditory command, now the driver can focus more of their attention on the primary task of driving instead of the secondary task of interacting with the city browser system. Now what's next for city browser? We don't really know. But as the technology used for the city browser system is improved, hopefully in vehicle navigation systems will become more mainstream. So as an undergraduate student at MIT, I definitely learned a lot from this project. I got to work with a variety of people, and I got to experience the lab environment. And this project wouldn't have been possible without the support of the U.S. Department of Transportation, Age Lab, CSAIL, and BMW. In particular, I want to thank Alex Grunstein, Jim Glass, Jared Orzelak, as well as Joseph Coughlin, and of course the entire Age Lab staff for helping me with this project. And in the end, I have to say, driving a BMW was pretty nice.